What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. As requested from the previous one, we're here doing a quick review of the one in the chambers, so let's check them out. Before we start the review, let's talk about bootleg sneakers a little bit. Bootleg sneakers have been on the market for a while now, and essentially the term bootleg means that it's not an official release from the actual company. So a lot of times creators or other companies want to make a certain version of an iconic silhouette, aka the Air Jordan 1, Air Force, etc, etc, but they want to put their own twist on it. There is a very popular bootleg of the Air Jordan 1 that released a while back. I don't even remember the name of it, but I'll try to put it up on the screen right here. I feel like that was the era where bootlegs first started, and as the years went on, we saw a few other bootlegs such as Bape, we saw Revenge Storm, and I feel like 2020 was the main year of bootleg sneakers. Companies overseas made it extremely accessible to go ahead and design your own sneakers, so a lot of designers went ahead, put their creative talents together, and sold these sneakers on their own. If you guys are into sneakers, you already know the story, but Warren Lotus, man, woo! It is what it is though, and a lot of people are still going to create despite the lawsuits, despite the allegations, so that's what we have here today. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Neutral Gray One of the Chambers by Fugazi slash Fugazi, however you guys want to pronounce it. For those of you that don't know, Fugazi or Fugazi is a slang term for fake, so it means not original, not what it's supposed to be, and I think it's a super dope play on words because this is a bootleg. This is technically a fake sneaker, I guess you could say. This is definitely not a part of Nike, not a part of Jordan Brand. This is purely created from the individual himself. His name is Trevor. He's a young kid. I think he's maybe 21 or 22 now. So he designed this whole thing from top to bottom, box, packaging, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and crack these things open. Starting off with the top of the box, we have the One in the Chamber logo right there. Very minimalistic look. I really like the paisley print going along the outside of the box. Now the vibe that I'm getting with this sneaker is that it was inspired by an old western theme. Quality of the box is extremely solid and one thing I love about this is that it has a magnetic flap so it closes real nice and it opens real nice as well and then on this side we have Fugazi running along the side of the box but let's go ahead and open this thing up and we are presented with the sneakers something about red guts inside a box just does it for me right this thing looks crazy. Of course, we have the Fugazi logo right there. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the details of the packaging. Starting off with the box paper, we have a wanted sign right here. It says, wanted, dead or alive. Two Tooth Trev, he is the designer of this sneaker right here, Trevor G. $500,000 reward, Fugazi with the logo right there. Whenever it comes to sneakers, I love a sneaker that has a concept or an inspiration behind it, and any of these special touches really just does it for me, man. On top of that, it came with this extremely nice velvet dust bag. This thing feels super high quality. And we also have another velvet pouch right here. This one includes the aglets for the sneaker replacements if you guys end up losing the originals, so we'll get to that in a second. The shoe also came with gray lace. Cases. Definitely a nice touch on this one. Now we can finally get to the shoe. There's a lot of detail in this shoe, so we're gonna go ahead and try to break down every single piece of it. Starting off with the colorway of this shoe, this is inspired by the neutral gray Air Jordan 1s. And if you guys can't tell already, this isn't a solid white sneaker. It's mainly a sail color, and I absolutely love that look. In all honesty, I'm not really a huge fan of white sneakers, but for some reason, the execution and the details of this sneaker make it worth it for me. But since this shoe has so much detail, I feel like if it had a certain colorway on it, it would just take away from that so that's why I appreciate this neutral colorway it really lets you pick out each and every detail of the shoe starting off with the outsole we have a neutral gray color as I said before this is an inspired Air Jordan 1 so you do see a little hint of the original outsole pattern but you also see where he switched it up so the heel right here is flooded with bullets as this is like a cowboy shootout inspired shoe here goes the front of the shoe as well with the chamber of the gun moving along to the midsole we have that sail white looking midsole and I gotta tell you guys man one thing that stands out about the sneaker has to be the quality this is leather that we rarely see on an air jordan one and i was really impressed when i first got these things in hand trevor decided to remove the swoosh and go with the upside down revolver look to go along with the theme of the sneaker on the top portion of the shoe we have the one in the chamber logo instead of the air jordan wings logo if we take a closer look we do see that there is one bullet in the chamber aka the one in the chamber shoe if you're wondering where the rest of the bullets are they're down here on the heel another one of my favorite parts about the shoe has to be the paisley print that we see on the side as well as the collar of the shoe. I feel like in 2020 paisley print became very popular again and I see a lot of people using the design so it's cool how he incorporated that into the shoe right here. Now before we continue I want to make it very clear that I did purchase this pair. He didn't send these out. He's not asking me for this video. I'm simply making this video because I didn't see too many reviews online and I want to give my thoughts of this sneaker right here. So if you're curious on where I got these I ended up purchasing them on eBay and I got lucky because I got the lowest price pair that was on eBay at the time. So if I remember correctly these 
these were listed at $290. $290 for a bootleg pair of shoes. After taxes and everything, I think I was around $300 bucks for this shoe right here. I've seen some sneaker stores selling this shoe for around $400 and some other sellers on eBay for selling this for around $350. If you guys got lucky, Trevor originally released these on his website for $187 if I remember correctly. So it's crazy to see that a bootleg sneaker is selling for around retail price of an official Air Jordan 1. And this sneaker right here does have resale value to it, which is crazy. But like I said, I went ahead and purchased this because I actually enjoy this shoe. I appreciate the details, the thought process that went into it. And I know for sure that I'm going to rock the hell out of these. So pause right now, comment down below. What are you thinking of the bootleg vibe? Are you guys messing with it? Are you guys not messing with it? Drop a comment down below. I'm not even gonna lie, if you asked me about three years ago, I would say bootlegs are whack, I would never wear them. But for some reason now, I'm older, man, I really don't care. If you guys like it, if you like wearing fake shoes, if you like wearing real shoes, I really don't care, bro. Do you, do your thing. I'ma stay in my lane and I'ma do me. Anyways, let's keep it rolling with the details. One of my favorite parts about this sneaker has to be the toe box. I mean, first of all, look at that buttery quality of the leather right here. The standard perforations that would be here on a normal Air Jordan 1 would just be regular holes, but my boy Trevor went ahead and did some bullet holes just to match that cowboy shootout vibe. From first glance, the laces look like they're normal laces, you know, nothing crazy. But when you go ahead and bust them out, you see that you have bullets for the aglets, and these are completely removable, so you could go ahead and unscrew them if you guys want to rock it without it. Or you could just screw them back on and call it a day. Looking at the tongue of the shoe, we have the Fugazi logo right there, but when we flip it to the back, we have the same logo that was on the tissue paper, which was the wanted sign. And if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be the last hit of the sneaker, which is the insole. And this thing is marked just like a shooting range target with the Fugazi logo down at the heel. Now that you guys saw the sneaker in its entirety, I want to hear your comments down below. This is definitely not one of those videos where you don't want to leave your comment. I really want to read everybody's comments, hear what you guys have to say. I feel like a lot of OG heads are not going to mess with this vibe, but the bootleg vibe, in my opinion, is pretty cool if it's done correctly. And like I said before, the one in the chambers has to be one of the best bootleg joints that I have ever seen. From the thought process, execution, quality of the materials, etc., etc., I feel like this is an extremely solid sneaker. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section down below. And again, if you guys want to shop for these, I would go ahead and check out eBay. That's where you'll probably find the best prices. I've seen some sell for like over $400, but on eBay, you'll probably find them for around $300 to $350-ish right now. I have a link down below if you guys want not sponsored or anything like that but i'll catch you guys very soon for the next video hope you all enjoyed this one it's your boy sneakerhead in the bay i'm out peace Shoot.